So today we start our uh, structure for our pigs. So um, we've got quite a bit of spare lumber out here under the pole barn. It's kind of a mess anyway, so it'll be kind of killing two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go through it all, um, find what I can use and need for the uh, structure for the pigs. And basically it's a small little lean-to, three sides that we can drag around as we move them around the pasture with our electric fence. So um, yeah, gonna dig through this and see what we can find. So I don't actually have the exact dimensions yet also of what I wanna build. I got a general idea and shape in mind. Um, so I'm just pulling out anything long enough that I think will cover my, my lengths that I need for my sides. And then the back will probably be a little longer. Some of them are in better shape than others. Most of them are off the ground. I have a couple cinder blocks down here that the pile's kind of on top of, but there's still some that have termite damage or ant damage. So um, we'll skip those ones and just use the good ones. So um, we got most of our wood from when we built the house three years ago. Um, a lot of it's just left over two by fours. There's some two by sixes in here, some other odds and ends, but again, and it's always wise to use up what any spare materials you got. It saves a lot of money. Um, I think, I could probably build this thing for the cost of a box of screws and maybe some paneling for a roof. I'm pretty sure I got enough of the frame and lumber here to, to build it all from this. So it's gonna save us quite a bit of money. So I got the pieces of wood I think I need to frame this thing. Um, I'm thinking of making it six or eight feet wide so I can get a, you know, a couple pigs underneath it for shade. It's just basically to get them out of the rain and in, out of the sun in the summer months when it's hot down here. Um, so I'm basically gonna take a couple of these guys. These will be the back. And I'll need two of these along the edges, sides. I'll have two more that will basically come up like this. These ones will be shortened probably. Um, and then basically the, the roof panel will go across this piece and you'll pull it by that somehow. I'll probably have to have another bar in the front to support it, otherwise it'll collapse when I pull it. Um, I have done a little bit of research on these, just Googled it and found a couple other people who have built something similar. So I'll, I'll find some plans to work off of, but. I think that's basically going to be the idea. Hey girl. This. Build a square on the bottom, put some posts here coming up on the corners, and then just run two by fours down on an angle, about a 45. So, another post here, and then that side's the same. Cover it with some sort of plastic or metal roofing, and you've got a fairly light mobile structure you could drag. I do have a piece of roof paneling over here, so maybe we take a walk over here and see if it's gonna be adequate for our needs. So that's not big enough. I was expecting more. I thought I had another piece out here, but I don't. So we'll probably have to buy a piece of this. Um, we've used this on our chicken tractors, um, also on our mobile chicken coop as well.
with 18 inch rear legs for the post back here, three foot on the front. Um, it seems like most of the pigs we've been able to do research on don't get any taller than about 30, 33 inches or so. So 36 inch clearance should be enough for them to get in here, lie down and get out of the sun. Um, so now basically I've got to uh, figure out the distances, custom length between the two posts on each side, cut those pieces of two by four, get those tacked in place. All right, so that extra board I had was a little longer than six feet. I had a couple six footers, which were perfect for what I wanted. That other one was like six foot three, six foot four, and I put it on anyway, and it's perfect with the angle. It's long enough to reach those two posts. So I'm actually just gonna cut this one to the same length and do the same thing on the other side. Um, this side's obviously no good, so I'm gonna cut this side off. So I'm gonna measure from the other side. I'm gonna be as um, efficient as possible with the the wood I have so I don't waste anything or cut it up poorly. So that's really good all using just scrap materials and even leftover screws from other projects so so far I've sunk zero dollars into this so that's a, a big plus um, looking at what I have for materials left I'm gonna need to pick up a couple one by threes like like this one by four but I'm gonna buy one by three and use that for a couple more crossbars on the top here and then I do need to get some of the plastic roof panel in uh, when it's all said and done I'll probably have about 75 bucks into this but um, it's basically 48 square feet, it's eight by four or eight by six. It's got over a three, little over three foot open in here for the pigs to get in and out of. Um, and we'll, we'll put the roof panels on for now. If I have some leftovers or scraps, I might do some more on the sides or the back, but really it's just about the sun. Um, and here in South Carolina, it gets pretty hot. Um, if, you've looked, if you know anything about pigs, they don't sweat, so they need some shade. So that's why we're building this. Um, and it's actually not too heavy so far. You can move it get your fingers under it. It's not, you know, it's pretty light actually. All right, so we got our three eight foot sections of roof panel in here and uh, they were $19 a piece. So it's a couple bucks cheaper than I was expecting actually. So that's good. So now we got our roof material, we got our strip wood for this to screw down in, we're ready to go. While I was building it, I realized um, that I, I would have liked to have overlapped the panels a little more. Um, probably should have bought the panels sooner in the process and um, figured them into this a little better because I wanted them to overlap more. Also, I did have some overlap, which was great, but just not on every seam like I would have liked. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a big problem. Again, the most most of this is for sun rather than rain. We'll see how it holds up in the rain the first couple times. And then if we need to put some flex tape or something over the joints, that's not a big deal. I also should have, when I overlapped the panels, I should have started at the bottom and worked my way up. Because in this direction now, if rain runs down, um, it will be able to run into those seams more easily. So a couple things I learned during this project that I gotta check the underside, those uh, screws for the plastic are a little longer than the one by three, or one by four I use, they're a little uh, deeper than the boards are thick. So the screws do stick out a little bit here on the underside. <laughs> All 
All right, so we are done our mobile uh, pig lean-to. Um, we've got everything you saw um, we put together the day before. Today, I went ahead and uh, took the Dremel tool and just cut the tips off all of the screws that went through the thin wood and the roofing. Didn't want them scratching their backs or heads on that on accident. So cut all that down so it's nice and flush with the wood. Um, you can see if you look down a little bit here, I put um, some wire across just on a couple eye hooks. Just use a cheap uh, piece of PVC pipe I had lying around as a handle so you're not digging into your hands. Um, this actually was uh, a run of dog line, one of those um, dog lines you can buy the runners. And uh, we don't use it. Our dog just roams around the property when we're outside with her and we let her out. Um, and she comes to us, so we don't even need it. So I just ended up cutting about a 12 foot length of this and uh, attached it on one side, got a cable um, clamp on the other side made a little loop through it and now I can very easily grab my hand and drag it around as necessary. Um, it's very light. Uh, it should keep them out of the sun, out of the wind and rain. Um, I did end up putting the back on there. If you squat, squat down a little bit um, and come around you'll see um, I did put the back in there just to give them a little more shade from the wind and uh, if I determine it's necessary I'll do something on the sides as well but I have seen um, I've seen some pretty, pretty basic uh, shelters for pigs. It's done. We're going to drag it over to the garden where they're going to stay for a few weeks, um, tilling and, and, and fertilizing the ground for us before we kick them out to pasture. Um, so here we go. <music> Yard, and, uh, a long way across the yard and uh, a little break here, let me do it. Oh, All right, now Abigail's gonna get a turn. <laughs> 